Welcome back to the main stage here at E3 2016. Joined now, I got Alec with me from Infinite Fall. What's up, dude? Good, I'm doing good. Yeah? yeah I'm excited show. to see more Night in the Woods, because last Sweet. time I played Night in the Woods, yeah. uh, you had a demo, I believe it was last E3, and or maybe it was two E3s ago. Yeah, two E3s ago. And uh, I was playing as an apathetic cat, and I went to talk to my alligator neighbor, and he was racist. Yes. And that was the demo. That's a good start. It was a great, I, yeah. I was like, wow, I don't know what this game is. We really suck you in. Yeah, but I was that. like, I want to know more mm -hmm. about why this alligator is racist. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about sure. Night in the Woods and what it's about. Yeah, you play as May. She's a 20-something-year-old cat who's dropped out of college and uh, has gone back home to live with her parents in her dead-end town. Uh, it's a mining town, but the mining industry has left. So here's some B-roll. Uh, <laughs> la -di -da. La -di -da. Uh, yeah, and so it's kind of a game about being in this particular time and place and really exploring this town and getting lost in the story and that kind of thing. And it's a narrative-led game. We decided early on that we wanted the narrative to lead and the gameplay to follow. Okay. So we do some interesting and weird things with the gameplay because of that. Yeah, you guys uh, had released uh, a demo kind of set in the same universe as Yeah, a supplemental was. game. Yeah, Lost Constellation. Lost Constellation, yeah. Which was kind of interesting, and that was sort of the similar thing where it, it felt very kind of adventure gamey, but it was also, mm -hmm. it was very led by this story, and it's kind of like a strange and surreal sort of yeah. world. Yeah, that's actually available at nightinthewoods.com. Okay. There's my plug. Yeah, if you guys want to check Go it out, check it's it available, out. and it's, it's a great a free demo. It's a uh, standalone kind of thing. But yeah, that was kind of like a ghost story in the woods in the wintertime, and you build snowmen that get inhabited by the spirit of dead people and yeah. stuff like that. So it's very so bizarre. maybe not entirely related to this one, but a little uh, bit. Yeah. It's kind of like a story that May's uh, granddad is telling to her. Oh, gotcha. And so the storyline does actually tie into the main game. Oh, that's cool. A little bit. So right now we're, uh, we're seeing May at her computer. Yeah, uh, there's actually going to be a game yeah. that May can play on her laptop. We haven't made wow. it yet, but I'm working on it with Adam Saltzman of... Uh, Cannibal and Overland fame. Oh, right on. I think next month is going to be our kind of death march jam to finish that. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> so, I mean, we see that we're interacting with the computer. We're in May's house. Yeah. Kind of, what do we do in Night in the Woods as May? Uh, there's a lot of exploring and running and jumping around town, and May interacts by talking to people, but you can choose what you're going to say, and that changes how the story goes, and you choose which ha uh, friends you want to hang out with. And May also draws these little doodles in her journal, you can see there. F the cops. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like running on the, because you can like run on the yeah. power lines. You you move like a cat. Yeah, uh, she's a little bit more mobile than some of the other characters because she's a cat. And uh, you also hang out with your friends and do band practice. So you play bass and stuff like that. And uh, you can so, explore on the rooftops. And so are you talking much about? kind of what the what the overall plot or the story is right now? We're not giving too much away. Uh, it does go interesting places, mm -hmm. uh, but that's all I'm allowed to say. Scott Benson is only allowing me to say that much. Yeah, well, Scott Benson didn't come to E3. No, he didn't. Scott Benson stayed home in like Pittsburgh. a punk, and now Alec is going to tell us every plot point right. of Night in Just the Woods. Just to get revenge. Sorry, Scott Benson. Scott Benson is the animator and writer, uh, and his wife, uh, Bethany Hockenberry, is also helping out with the writing and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, so. and it's basically, I mean, it's the team is basically the three of you, right? Pretty much, yeah. So it's a very small team. That's why it's taking so long to make this game, honestly, is I'm doing the music and the programming, Scott's doing all the animation, and. Bethany and Scott are doing the writing, and it just takes us a long time to put it together because there's only three of us. Yeah. So. PlayStation fans will probably recognize your music from the Towerfall soundtrack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, which is pretty dope. So we know we know <laughs> the music is going to be good. We can see the art is going to be good. We're, yeah. I like I like all the writing I've seen. It seems yeah, sufficiently weird enough for me. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's very funny. I've watched lots of people play it, and lots of people laugh at it, uh, which is neat. I mean, it looks like we're... we're kind of exploring a pretty big world. Like, this town it's seems pretty huge. detailed, too. There's lots of little things and little interactions. Like, there's squirrels. We have a system called Squirrel Net. It's like the squirrel AI of how they know how to run around on all the buildings and collect acorns and stuff like this. It's crazy. What happens if you chase a squirrel? Uh, you can kind of, like, they run away, and you can kind of find out where they've been stashing all their acorns, which oh. doesn't affect the storyline. <laughs> yeah. But it's just like, I want to know, yeah. know what they're doing. What are they doing? Yeah. Uh, you can also see that there's, like, in one of the shots, there's a uh, cat in a window, like a pet cat. Yeah. But May is also a cat. Well, that's what I was going to ask. So like, that's kind of fun to think squirrels about. Squirrels are animals, but yeah. May is an animal person. Yeah. 
You've got some like Disney the, Pluto goofy exactly. rule. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. How do you decide what animals are animals and what animals? You'll have are to sentient? ask uh, Scott about that. Yeah. I don't know what the logic is, but yeah. his motivations are are shadowy even to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very mysterious. Yes. So it looks like here we're seeing things where we can. Um, oh, you can interact with her paw, so you can actually control her paw, and it kind of looks like a stiff fake animal paw on purpose. Because <laughs> we just thought that would be funny. You can see there, oh, there she's. Is. Uh, yeah, petting the rats, so. But that's kind of awesome. We're seeing as we're, um, I, I can't tell whether they like that or not. Yeah. <laughs> it weirds me out. But it's cool because we're seeing as we're, as we're walking around on the street, we're also, we can dip into all these buildings. We can go in through these windows. Yeah. And the pause mode stuff is like just a way to look at stuff like up close and interact with it in a different way. It kind of makes the world feel a bit bigger. Okay. Because you're zooming in on the detail a bit. So, uh, I think we're going to see another little mini game here where you can smash light bulbs that Greg throws at you. <laughs> <laughs> and he ducks and covers. And... This is like, yeah. it is spooky to me to watch these adorable animals interact, like acting out all of the dumb things I did <laughs> yeah. in my late teens, early 20s. Yeah. Just like, yeah, of course we're going to go back and smash light bulbs behind the Home <laughs> Depot. Why wouldn't we do that? Yeah. And this is the band practice mode, so it's a little bit like Guitar Hero. Um, I love how compelling you've made a game about basically being kind of shiftless and aimless in yeah. life. <laughs> Somehow all I want to do is sit around and be shiftless and aimless in life with this cat. We're hoping we can motivate people to be more shiftless and aimless in real life. We so. can an it's, it's, it's an anti-motivation tool, yeah. <laughs> Night in the Woods. So, I mean, you know, we're obviously, we're interacting with our friends. We've got band practice. We're going into all these buildings. Like, how many of these, uh, how many of these places that we're seeing in town have people and things that we can interact with. Are we jumping uh, into A everything? lot of them. There's a lot of them, yeah. And that's another reason why it's taking so long to make this <laughs> thing. But one of the cool things is as you play through the game, you have to pick which friends you're going to hang out with on each day. So you don't get to do everything the first time. So it's a bit like real life where you have to decide, oh, am I going to hang out with Greg or am I going to hang out with B? And Like kitten persona? Uh, yeah. Like There's a bit of persona like in there. Kitten persona, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's that's our new elevator pitch. That's it. It's you like persona, it. but for cats that drop out of college. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I like it. So we were seeing some of the branching dialogue there in yeah. the car. And this is the mall, which is kind of run down and abandoned because of the internet. Yeah. Uh, they're talking about that. Yeah. I love this. Also the internet. Yeah. I'm gonna make a sign that says the internet and hold it up until you're done asking. So, I love that. Yeah. So snark. <laughs> so snark. I love it. Uh, if you follow at Bombsfall on Twitter, yeah. that's the guy who writes all this stuff. He tweets a lot of funny stuff. Yeah, he he's is. He's guy. hilarious on Twitter. And this is uh, where you're going to do some crimes. Oh. So May is actually uh, going to go steal a belt buckle. We actually had someone who was very upset that this was in the game. They got mad at us on Twitter. Oh, that, at like actual shoplifting? Yeah, they were like, we're encouraging shoplifting and crimes and that Only sort of thing. Only in cats. So. We really only want right. to see cats shoplift, okay, yeah. not people. Not people. But we would love to see all cats trained to shoplift, if possible. <laughs> that would be pretty adorable. I mean, if it can I'd be like, done, I'd, I'd like, like to, to see it. it. I'm not sure how you do it, <laughs> but. I love how just like late 80s, early 90s, this mall looks, like how yeah. trapped in time <laughs> yeah. it is. Like they never got that a chance to update it. That whole squiggle art there is very 90s. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I mean, the attention to detail that you guys have, I would imagine just working in such a close-knit team for such a, for such a long time, like you guys are kind of on the same wavelength because there's yeah. so much detail stuff in this. It's interesting because we don't live in the same place. Like I'm in, up in Canada, Scott's in Pittsburgh, and Bethany's with him in Pittsburgh. So we use Slack a lot and we do Google Hangouts and collaborate that way. But occasionally we get together in person too and do that and we work a bit faster that way. But yeah. Is this still the mall? This is the mall, yeah. That's it's got beautiful. some ugly art. Yeah, I love it. And some weird abstract art. So I mean, you guys, you, you guys have been plugging away. I mean, obviously, yeah. you've been you've been working on other projects at the same time. There have only been a little three bit working. Yeah. Uh, but I, uh, you guys are kind of on the home stretch now, right? Yeah, we're hoping to release in fall of 2016. But we still have like a crap load of content to put in, so we'll have to see how it goes. But okay. That's... And as far as uh, as far as PlayStation platforms, we're looking at PS4. PS4 for now, and then we'll see about other ones later. But yeah. We actually run out of memory on the PS4 a lot, yeah. which is surprising. It's a 2D game, right? But we have so many frames of animation that they and they all take up a lot of space. So it's that Squirrel AI, dude. Yeah, you got to right. yank it. We got to cut it. Got to cut it. Last minute. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Squirrel aficionados everywhere. Uh, Alec, thank you so much yeah, for coming thanks. by, man. I always love seeing yeah, you guys. Yeah, it's fun hanging out. Too. Yeah. PlayStation.